Hi, this video is going to be on my Beatles and Solo Beatles video VHS collection. If you're my age, you probably first started collecting Beatles movies and videos on the VHS videotape format. Um, I was in high school when I first started amassing my Beatles VHS collection. It's not huge by any means, but I will show what I have. First thing I have, this is A Hard Day's Night. And it's kind of an, I don't know what you'd call this kind of a case, but, um, you know, these were the first VHS, I guess, video cases. And if I'm not mistaken, this video first came out probably around 1987, I think was when um, this was released. And this was actually the first time that I'd ever seen A Hard Day's Night was on VHS. So that was really a revelation. I'd heard about it, but it was never on TV. It was never in the movie theaters that I could ever see it. So it was awesome to have this. This is a little bit of a later copy that I have. It's part of a um, box set, um, the Beatles collection that I got. Not crazy about the artwork. I don't like the design of it all. I much prefer the other version. This seems very much kind of like 80s pop art, too much fluorescent, whatever. But um, this is what that looks like. This is um, the first U.S. visit, which is by the Males Brothers. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But it's almost like if you've ever seen Bob Dylan's um, Don't Look Back documentary, this is very comparable. It's just um, footage of the Beatles um, in their hotel rooms, um, just kind of joking around, talking on the telephone, going from hotel to hotel to concert. Um, it's just a very interesting look at their first trip over to the USA Um and just kind of them getting swept up and, you know, not being able to kind of process um, just the intense fan mania that was happening around them. Um, but it's just a really great um, document of their first trip over to the United States. This is the first video release of Help. This version is actually um, still sealed. But... Um, Love Help, Love Seeing the Beatles in Color in 1965. And then this is a more recent version of Help. This is the making of A Hard Day's Night, and it's actually got Phil Collins in it, which... I never realized Phil Collins was in A Hard Day's Night, although he was, I think, probably like eight or nine years old. But as Phil is quick to um, show you, they kind of do a quick um, photo still of him in the movie. But it's not that this is very revelatory. Um, it's just kind of a cheesy, you know, look behind the scenes at the making of A Hard Day's Night. Um, you know, if you're a Beatles fan, obviously, you know, you're going to want to have it, but, you know, nothing substantial. This is a Magical Mystery Tour, one of the first version. Um, well, I should say this is actually a more recent version, and this is actually the first version that I owned. Um, the quality on this one is terrible. The colors are all washed out. It's almost like a terrible black and white. I remember seeing this and just being appalled at how poor the, the film quality was. And I actually thought, well, that's the best that this movie is going to look. And then this one is just so much better. Um, I don't know how they remastered it, the, the film or restored it, whatever they did. But this is the version to own. This one... Um, the quality in is just garbage. This is um, my copy of Yellow Submarine. This was the first video release of that. And 
and this was on MGM UA and this actually comes with a little video like a almost a order form if you're interested in any other of the uh, MGM video releases this used to be sealed until my kids got a hold of it and they tore the cellophane off of it the shrink off of it and so um I'm kind of bummed about that, but at least now I guess I can watch it. So, um, this is the Beatles live, which it's not really live. They're actually miming to, and so it's interesting because what the Beatles did is they went into the studio and they recorded live, um, kind of their hits to that point, And then they mimed it in a TV studio so it's live in one sense, but not in the true sense. They're not actually playing their instruments on this, but this has Twist and Shout, Roll Over Beethoven, I Want to Be Your Man. Um, and it's funny because Ringo, the song starts, the vocal starts, and then suddenly he realizes he's supposed to be singing and then starts miming along. Um, Long Tall Sally, and then there's a medley of Love Me Do, Please Please Me, From Me to You, She Loves You, I Want to Hold Your Hand, Can't Buy Me Love, and then they do a version of Shout, which is interesting to hear them cover that song. The only place you'll get to see them do that. So, and I believe this was called um, Around the Beatles. That was actually what the, the television special was called when this was aired. Um, they call this a Ready Steady Go special edition. This is The Beatles, The Legend Continues, kind of a cheap documentary that was put out on The Beatles. And neither The Beatles nor Apple Corps Limited have authorized the sale, production, or release of this video. Consumers should not confuse this product with authorized Beatles product. So... Make no mistake, the Beatles had, or Apple Corps had no part in the production or manufacturing of this video. It's all right. You know, it's a bunch of newsreel clips and, you know, just kind of public domain stuff. This, however, this is a treasure. This is actually three short movies that were made um, back in the day, the first one is the Mersey Sound, and I don't know if this was newsreel footage or whatever, but it's actually from 1963 before the Beatles came to America. I think it was before they did the Royal Command performance. It's got some interviews with the Beatles. It's a, a British documentary. Um, it was either released on television or released in theaters, like I say, as a newsreel footage. It's very fascinating. And then there is um, The Beatles in Washington, which again is um, more newsreel footage, but it has the Washington concert that the Beatles performed during their first U.S. trip. So that is excellent. And then The Beatles Come to Town, this is billed as their first um, color film appearance. Um, and it's um, from Manchester, England. So again, it was... Um, I don't know if it's produced in England, but it is, in fact, full color. It's got some rare backstage footage, um, and it's got them performing Twist and Shout and She Loves You. So this is actually really great. If you can find this, you won't be sorry. Um, it's very, it's better than the other kind of, you know, unofficial, um, stuff that you can find out on VHS or DVD for that matter. The very first Beatles documentary that um, covered their entire career was The Complete Beatles. This copy is sealed. I have a copy that's not sealed, so you can actually see what the, the videotape itself looks like. But this, um, I remember seeing this in the theaters in the late 70s i think it was produced early 80s actually so maybe like 82 or something like that i remember going to the theater to see this uh excellent 
documentary. This was before the anthology, the only real Beatles documentary that was out there. I'm not sure why this has never come out on DVD because it's really an excellent documentary. Um, not as great as the anthology, obviously, but, um, you know, it's still just a fantastic, um, you know, look at the Beatles and their career. There's a lot of interesting film footage. Uh, some of them on stage in Japan and whatnot, but, um, you know, really excellent if you can ever get a hold of it. This is Fun with the Fab Four, which is um, produced by Good Times Video. It's a lot of newsreel footage, some interviews. There's an interview with the Beatles looking tremendously stoned right after they received their MBEs from the Queen. There is actually, I told you that the Beatles live video was actually um, filmed as around the Beatles. And one of the last things they did after they performed live was they did a sketch. Um, it was a kind of a mock-up of a, or a kind of a satire. Um, it was a Shakespearean comedy called Pyramus and Thisbe, which is um, shown on here. And it's, it's fun. The Beatles are kind of clowning around and, you know, John obviously is a great comedian, but, um, you know, they're, they're getting, and that's funny cause they're actually getting heckled by the crowd. Um, but they, they do their best with it. And it's, it's funny, if you, you know, if you like the Beatles, it, it's great. Um, but it's still a worthwhile release this is also on dvd i have this on dvd but um you know it's all things beatles so definitely should be part of your collection this is the unauthorized beatles which somewhat replicates the uh the beatles first vhs tape that i showed you this particular one that i have is sealed um but it's a unauthorized release as they make very plain by the title now I'm going to get into the um, solo Beatles VHS tapes that I have. This is uh, the film that John, it's a Richard Lester film that John um, was involved in after um, the touring ended in 1966. Uh, he composed Strawberry Fields Forever while he was on the set of this movie. It's a, it's a British film satire. It's kind of hard to follow the dialogue because it's in very thick British accent. Um, I don't know if this has subtitles or not. I suspect not. It's a little hard to follow, but it's very interesting to see John in a film role outside of A Hard Day's Night and Help. Um, I enjoy it. There's actually a, a death scene at the end. John gets shot, and so um, he does a death scene. Um but he he's not the star of the film though michael crawford's actually the star of the film john is in probably about 25 percent of this film you should know going in don't expect that this is going to be a huge you know john lennon vehicle although it's, it's still interesting to see him acting and um it's a comedy but you know outside of the you know him acting as a beetle this is another sealed uh, VHS that I have. This is John Lennon Imagine, which is a series of videos and um, footage of John at home um, at his estate. Um, all the, the songs from Imagine are featured in videos in here. There's also some cameos. Uh, George Harrison appears in this. Dick Cavett appears in it. Um, and uh, there's some shots of Miles. There's some party that John had at the home. Miles Davis is in it. So just interesting. Uh, it's an interesting video diary of 1971 and John Lennon's Imagine album. It just recently became available on DVD. Another VHS, which I'm not sure why it's not made an appearance on DVD yet, is John Lennon Live in New York City. This is available on CD and vinyl, um, and it's a full concert, so it's great. It's, um, maybe the only full concert that we have a document of uh, from John, so it's definitely worthwhile in um, that respect. 
This has got some sort of uh, purchase registration card that came with it. Um, so, yeah, I love it. Then the John Lennon video collection, which has the videos for official videos for Give Peace a Chance, Cold Turkey, Instant Karma, Power to the People, Happy Xmas War is Over, Mind Games, Whatever Gets You Through the Night, Number Nine Dreams, Stand By Me, Slip and Sliding. Uh, imagine a lot of videos on here, just like Starting Over, Woman. Nobody told me, borrow time, I'm stepping out, jealous guy, grow old with me, and a live version of Imagine. So this has never been released on DVD either. The closest thing that you come to it is John Lennon Legend on DVD. Um, and that does st still doesn't have the same versions that you find on here. There's some kind of newer Yoko produced videos, but this has the actual... If they were released at the time um, on video or as a promo film, they were on this collection. So this is uh, definitely one, the one to get. I think this is a companion piece to the John Lennon collection uh, album and cassette and CD. And then, of course, in the mid-80s, there was the other film, Imagine, which was a great documentary on John Lennon. This is sealed, so... Can't show you what the videotape looks like, but if you have not seen this, you owe it to yourself to check it out. It's an excellent, excellent documentary. So that is my John Lennon VHS. Now moving over to uh, Paul McCartney. This is another sealed version. This is the Paul McCartney special, which was recorded, um, I believe it was around the time of Press to Play. Um, it's got some clips of him performing. Um, I saw her standing there, Peggy Sue, Maybe I'm Amazed, Helen Wheels, Hi, 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 My Love, Band on the War. So it's a nice little uh, video collection there from Paul. And then this is a performance after the Flowers and the Dirt uh, album came out. And this is Paul McCartney put it there as a unique insight into the music and personality of Britain's most enduring superstar. So it's got some backstage footage. It's got some interviews with Paul. Like most Paul videos, it's got people saying nice things about and complimentary things about Paul McCartney. This is also sealed, so can't show you what that looks like. And then this is a, uh, this was released theatrically. This was called Get Back. And this was his first tour since his days with the Wings. And he um, performs 22 songs on this VHS. Performed before sellout crowds in 45 cities and 13 countries, including the Guinness record for the largest audience ever to see a solo performance, 184,368 in Rio de Janeiro sealed so i can't show you sorry this is paul mccartney moving on and this was the off the ground period this is in 1992 paul mccartney and his band began recording off the ground and preparing for the new world tour director audrey powell aubrey powell and his cameras were there with them every step of the way the film shows paul rehearsing recording at Abbey Road and performing live. So it's another kind of behind the scenes, some live, some interviews, um, but you know, it is uh, about an hour long, but it's Paul McCartney. So it's a must for Paul McCartney fans. And then Paul is live in concert. So this is strictly a Paul McCartney concert on the New World Tour. I did see him on this tour. I saw him at the Pontiac Silverdome in Detroit. I was way far back, and so he was, like, real tiny. Not a great venue to see Paul McCartney, but um, this is a great document of that tour, and it's got a little bit of the Paul is Live uh, front cover there. This is also sealed, so can't show you the video. Sorry about that. And then... The last VHS that I had to show is 
in the world tonight also sealed and this was behind the scenes the recording of the flaming pie uh album i don't have give my regards to broad street on vhs i've got it on dvd at some point i will do a dvd episode but that is my beatles vhs collection thanks for watching and take care